Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular problem, we're gonna do an interesting algebra word problem that has to deal with age. I kind of call these problems oldies, but goodies, classic uh, word problems that probably your great, great grandparents did back in their algebra uh, courses. So again, this type of problem uh, is uh, very likely to be seen uh, by anyone who's going to be taking any sort of algebra course. So uh, hopefully you're kind of familiar with this type of problem. If you are not, we're gonna obviously uh, solve this in just one second, but let me go ahead and read the problem. Uh, it says, Dave is twice as old as his brother. Four years ago, he was four times as old. How old is Dave now? So this is the problem. So if you can figure this out, go to put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to go ahead and solve this step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, uh, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this question one more time. And remember the rule of three. The rule of three is read a math word problem at least three times before you attempt to answer it. And the third time you read that problem, you gotta really make sure you understand what the question is. And the question here is, how old is Dave now? Okay, so Dave is twice as old as his brother four years ago. He was four times as old. How old is Dave now? So what is Dave's current age? Well, let's go and take a look at the answer. Dave is currently 12 years old. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, that is outstanding. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and give you a nice little A plus, a 100%, and a few stars. So you can tell your friends and family that you solved a nice algebra age word problem. They'll be so impressed with that information. Uh, they'll be like, well, the next time I gotta figure out anything with math, they're gonna call you up. And uh, you know, the one thing, uh, if you get really, really good at math, you can even kind of start your own little tutoring business. You know, that's kind of a nice little side deal for some of you out there. So a lot of incentives to do well in mathematics. But let's go ahead and get into the actual solution right now. And again, the first thing you need to kind of keep in mind when you're solving any math word problem is you got to read the problem more than once, right? Oftentimes students just read a problem one time. They're like, okay, I think I know what to do. And they just start doing it. That's the worst thing you could do. Read the problem. Really, and then that's the first time. Just get a basic sense of what's going on. The second time, start pulling information out. The third time, you need to understand what the question is. So we have, obviously, Dave and his brother. And we want to know what uh, how old Dave is right now. So we're going to have to model this uh, situation. And we're obviously going to have to use algebra, okay? Because we're looking for an unknown value. So a good clue in mathematics is when you're trying to find a value and it's an unknown value, well, then you need to use a variable, okay? You're like, well, I don't know what the, uh, uh, how old Dave, uh, Dave is now. I don't know what that is, but let's let a variable like X, Y, some variable, and I would just, um, it doesn't really make a difference what variable you use. You can use all kinds of crazy symbols, but just keep it simple. So if you can't think of a variable, just use the variable X. You can never go wrong with it. So what we want to do is let a variable represent this unknown value. Uh, so we're going to uh, use that variable X. But we're going to kind of do this in a kind of a creative way. All right, so let's go ahead and establish some variables now. So here's what the way I'm going to approach it. Now, you could do this in a couple different ways. Okay, You don't have to do it in this manner. You could still end up um, getting the problem right. But I think this is the easiest way to solve this problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm going to let Dave's brother's age. Now, you're saying, well, aren't we trying to find Dave's age? Yes, we are, but you'll see here why in a second. I'm letting X equal Dave's brother's age. Okay, so, uh, you know, if uh, Dave's brother is five years old, X would be equal to five. Now here, if we look at the, uh, going back to our problem, it says Dave is twice as old as his brother. So currently right now, Dave is twice as old as his brother. So if his brother is X years old, 
Dave's age right now is 2x. Okay, so really what I'm looking for to solve this problem is 2x. So if I know what x is, which of course is Dave's uh, brother's age right now, I can get Dave's age by simply multiplying by 2. Okay, so again, uh, you know, you have to really stop and think about uh, the problem and think about what you're going to assign for your variables. Now, uh, there are different approaches to this problem. You're like, well, I didn't let x equal Dave's brother's age. I let x equals Dave's age. That's fine, too, but you just your equations and things are going to look a little bit different. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and, and um, read the problem and make sure we understand what's going on. Now that we have kind of a representation, some sort of uh, variables that represent Dave's brother's current uh, age and Dave's age right now, Let's go back and read this problem again because what we need to do is construct an equation. Okay, we have some variable terms, but we can't solve for, the, for um, these variables unless we have an equation. And the way we're going to have to construct an equation is to find some uh, relationship between this information and express it as such. So that's why you have to kind of use the additional information in uh, a word problem. Now, I'm going to say something here that might surprise you. And you might be saying, well, that's uh, this is not fair. And what I'm going to tell you is oftentimes math teachers like to sneak in extraneous uh, information in uh, word problems. In other words, they'll put in extra information that's not needed to solve the problem. This comes up a lot, uh, comes up a lot on uh, tests like the SAT, ACT, GED. So, again, it's just a way to kind of distract you. So when you're thinking... You know, you're asking yourself, you know, I'm reading a word problem. I don't need all the information in the word problem to solve it. Sometimes that is the case. Sometimes there, there's extra information in there that they kind of try to, you know, confuse you with. So in this particular case, we do need everything here. So let's go ahead and read the rest of the problem. It says, four years ago, he, we're talking about Dave, was four times as old. Okay, we're going to need this right now. Okay, this, this sentence we need because this is how we're going to construct uh, in equation. All right. So again, our question is how old is Dave? So Dave is twice as old as his brother. We already kind of established that with some variables. Four years ago, he, Dave, was four times as old. So let's go ahead and construct uh, an equation using these variable terms here, Dave's brother's age and Dave's age now. We need to be thinking four years ago. Okay. So four years ago. So if this is Dave's age right now, okay, how old, if this is Dave, uh, Dave's current age, how old would Dave be four years ago? Let's just think about that now, okay? So uh, how could you write um, an algebraic expression that would represent Dave's age four years in the past? If he's currently 2x, how old would he be four years ago? What, well, wouldn't he be just 2x minus 4? Okay, so his current age minus 4 would be his age four years ago, right? How old would his brother be four years ago? Well, if, he, if the brother uh, is currently X years old, well, four years ago, you just subtract away four years. Okay, so you got to be thinking in these terms. So this is Dave's current age, and this is Dave's brother's. Uh, I'm sorry, this is Dave's age four years ago, and this is his brother's age four years ago. So going back to the problem, it says four years ago, he was four times, four times as old. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually take a look at an equation here that we can set up with this information. All right, so here's Dave, and here is uh, Dave's brother. So again, we talked about uh, four years ago. If this is Dave's current age, four years ago, uh, Dave would be 2x minus 4. But we know four years ago... He was four times his brother's age four years ago. So how old was his brother four years ago? Well, was he, uh, he was X minus four. Now, we have to put that in parentheses. Uh, anytime in algebra you're dealing with sums or differences like X uh, plus a number or Y minus a number, always put this in parentheses because if you do not, it will throw off your problem solving. But um, four years ago, this is his brother's age, but we know that Dave was four times whatever his brother's age was four years ago, okay? So this is really, really critically important that you understand how to construct uh, these equations, okay? Now, if you get the equation right, then you're going to get the, uh, well, hopefully you'll get the answer right if you know how to solve these basic equations. But here's the deal. If you decided that you wanted to let 
x equal Dave's age, okay, well then you could do this. It just would uh, be a different equations and a different kind of setup. So if you took a different path, that's perfectly fine as long as you got the right answer. Okay, so now we have an equation. So it's going to be up to us to solve this equation for x. So let's go into that right now. Here we go. So 2x minus 4 is equal to 4 times x minus 4. So the first thing we need to do is the distributive property 4 times that x, 4 times that 4. So we get 2x minus 4 is equal to 4x minus 16. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 4x from both sides of the equation. And you, get, you can kind of see this work, then add down in a column manner. So I'm basically solving a uh, what we call a linear equation. If you are struggling with any of this, and you're like, oh, how can I learn this? You know, I'm like, I really need help with algebra problems. I'm going to strongly suggest checking out like my Algebra 1 course and my Math Help program. I also have additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out if you're confused with anything. So here we have 2x minus uh, 4x. That gives us negative 2x minus 4 is equal to negative 16. So now I'm going to have, uh, add 4 to both sides of the equation. And when we do that, we're going to get negative 2x. Uh, negative 2x is equal to negative 12. And then here I'll divide both sides of the equation by negative 2. You get x is equal to 6. Again, if you're a little bit lost on how to solve or how I'm solving this equation, that's definitely... Uh, something, you know, kind of an algebra emergency, right? Uh, you know, here's like little sirens going off and whatnot. Like, oh boy, if you, you know, don't understand what I'm doing here, you definitely need to review how to solve basic linear equations, okay? With nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, if you see something you don't understand, never feel bad about not understanding anything uh, in mathematics, okay? That's just normal, okay? So make yourself, you should always have a list when you're doing a math problem. You're like, oh, I don't get this. I don't understand this thing and this thing. Well, that's perfect, okay? Because at least you identified uh, the skills that you need to work on. And you need to have a list and you need to work on your weaknesses because they will not go away unless you actually do something about them and they'll come and haunt you over and over and over again in your current math topics and future uh, math endeavors. So, uh, you know, once you know a weakness that you're having, go get help. All right, so here... We end up with x is equal to 6. So we're like, okay, what does that mean again? Well, we have to go back to our variable setup, right? So we said Dave's brother's age is equal to x, right? Remember in the beginning of the problem. So x is equal to 6. So Dave's uh, brother's current age is 6 years old. So Dave's age will be 2x or 2 times 6, right? Which is 12 years old. Okay, so again, in the very, very beginning of this problem, I said this was a classic algebra word problem. I'm pretty sure I was doing a problem like this in the early 1980s when I was uh, just starting off in high school. Of course, I don't remember because I was a terrible student back then, quite distracted. Uh, it wasn't until I, uh, you know, served in the Marine Corps and got a little discipline and focus that I actually <laughs> started taking academics more serious. You know, and I say that. Uh, to uh, speak to those of you that might be like, let's say, at the high school level, you know, it's tough to um, handle distractions, okay? If there's distractions going on around you, well, you're going to have to do your best you can to stay focused because uh, math is uh, certainly a game of focus. And that's why, you know, in my math help program, you can learn math on your own independently in a more focused state away from distractions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.